guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're just going to start right off the bat I'm going to be making an Americano but this is just not any Americano this is one of the fat coffees that I make um, sometimes to help get fats in and I usually make this in the morning so that way I can count it as a meal so we're gonna start off this video by making some coffee an Americano coffee um, you don't need to do it this way you can make it however you want this is just how I do it um, first off we've just got our little coffee espresso maker right here we've got ground coffee a blender um, I'm using the Nutra Ninja I think that's what it's called um, with the blender cap and the bottle because we're going to be doing some blending in a minute and in here I've got three quarters of a cup of almond milk two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and one teaspoon of coconut oil and two about one and a half tablespoons of the uh, Tarani sugar-free French vanilla syrup while this is melting the coconut because I've mixed everything together except for the sugar and oil and uh, the um, Tarani sugar-free syrup and the oil and I just popped that in the microwave until it got warm um, because you don't want it too hot um, just warm enough to melt the the coconut oil and then you add in your Tarani and your coconut oil and then just give it a stir just to melt the oil now we're going to do the coffee so this is a um, espresso maker um, I've had this thing for years um, it comes apart like this you just twist the cap off and um, this is the top this is where the coffee comes out if you've never used one before that's how that is and then this comes out it just has a little insert that pops down in there like this and you just take this out what you're going to do first is there's this little spot right here and this is for the steam escape um, you're just going to fill your water up to the bottom of this and then you're just going to um, put your little insert down in there like that it just sits right on top and then what you're going to do is um, you're going to just take your coffee grounds and you're going to fill this three quarters of the way up but you're not going to fill it completely up because it will overflow so fill in your coffee and when you get it to the spot that you like just go ahead and kind of tap it down um, it doesn't have to be tapped down um, too tight in there just to level it off I'm just going to set this over here and then you're just going to screw on your top and now that you have this all put back together you're just going to put this on the stove on medium to medium low and it's going to brew and when it starts to brew you have these little spouts I don't know if you can see that right there and that's where the coffee is going to come out and uh, it's going to take a few minutes but it's going to be really really strong coffee um, hence the word espresso but we're just going to let this cook and I will see you back in just a bit okay guys um, while the coffee is um, finishing up I just went ahead and threw my milk mixture into this ninja cup and attached the blending lid and I just blended it for about 10 to 15 seconds it wasn't that long just to get some of this foamy and uh, this foamy froth on the top because I love that in a coffee you're just going to add in your coffee and as you can see it is very hot you can wait for this to cool down if you like um, 
whatever you would like to do is up to you. Um, I'm just going to pour this into my cup here. I want to add in some ice just to cool this down a bit. Now you're just going to give this a stir. So you get you get quite a lot in there. Um, you're supposed to add water to this, but um, I find that it waters it down way too much. So I just double up on the milk and cream. And it tastes great. Um, so yeah, you can give this, this a try and let me know what you think. Since I've got my coffee made, I guess um, we will just do a little sit down chat and do some catching up let you know what's going on, what I'm going to be doing, um, if I'm going to do a vlogmas. Um, I'm a little late on the vlogmas train, but I'm going to try. Let's just go and sit down and do a little chit chatting. All right, guys, I'm sitting here on my little love seat sofa in my living room. It's got the best light that comes in through the windows because we've got the four big windows in front um i kind of wish they were on the front of the house instead of on the back of the house but it is what it is um like i said they have the best light that comes in during the afternoon in the morning or excuse me in the afternoon um the sun sets on the opposite side of the house so in the morning time it's got the best light so i've just got my uh, coffee and I just wanted to sit down and do a little chit chat with you guys. I was wanting to do a um, like a question tag type thing where um, I just sit down and at, um, answer questions like a get to know me challenge. I did that on my other channel. Um, so if you want to watch that, you can just uh, go down to the link. In the description box where it says my other channel um, my other YouTube channel and just click that and it'll take you to my other YouTube channel which it's it's a cleaning channel I like to clean I like to keep a clean house um, I don't upload as much as I need to because I've just got to find that balance between life and uploading filming and everything else so I get up in the mornings and get in that mindset that I'm going to film and then I just get so busy that I forget to film. But that's life, you guys. But anyways, if you want to see that Q&A, you can just pop over there on that link and go check that out. I might do one for this channel as a part of the Vlogmas type videos that I want to do. Um, so, yeah, I might do that. I'll have to get on the internet and find some good questions for this channel. Because I don't want them to be the same questions as on my other YouTube channel. I have just been thinking about Vlogmas. I know I'm a little late on the Vlogmas bandwagon. You're technically supposed to upload your first video for Vlogmas on the 1st of December. But I'm so far behind on everything that I just have not had the time to film that much, honestly. I've just been so busy. A lot of things have happened. And I just have not had the time to do what I set out to do. I've got everything wrote down that I wanted to do for Vlogmas in my office. But I just have not had the time to do them. Um, so... I want to try to get on track with Vlogmas and at least try to upload as much as I can during the week. I want to give you guys some good content. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do now because I'm behind on the list. I've got some good things wrote down that I can still do for Vlogmas. I've just got to move things around and figure out what day I'm going to do them. And get them edited and uploaded for you guys. I want to show more of my family in these videos. But I don't know. With the, the FTC rules that 
have come out now with YouTube. I don't I don't know how that's going to go. I mean, I know a lot of YouTubers still show their families and everything. I've got it set on my channel that my videos are not made for kids. My target audience is not children. So I, I don't know exactly how that's going to go. So I'm just going to try to do some family videos. My daughter may or may not want to be in videos. She's still coming into this whole new vlogging thing. She kind of gives me the little eye when I bring out the camera. She kind of heads off to her room. But that's okay. I'm not going to force her to be in any video that she doesn't want to be. Um, that's not okay for anybody to do. Um, really. So eventually she might come around and you can see her more in vlogs and stuff but until then it's just gonna be me or me and my husband maybe because he works a lot um, it just depends on what time of the day that he will get home if he's going to be in the video or not sometimes he will get home between one and sometimes he don't get home till about seven maybe eight that's fine um, I don't mind being the only one in the videos because I'm still getting used to it myself. Hopefully I can do more family style videos on this channel, especially cooking. Um, I love to cook. I love to come up with different types of recipes. Um, if you're new here, I'm on keto so and I've lost 23 pounds on keto. Um, so that's really great. Um, I'm not going to deviate from the keto lifestyle because it's helped me so much. I've struggled with my weight since my surgery. Um, I had a ruptured tubal pregnancy about four years ago. And ever since then, my weight has just been difficult. It's been difficult. So, about six months ago, I started the keto lifestyle, and I've lost 23 pounds in six months. Now, granted, um, I don't want to lose the weight as quickly as most people would. I know that sounds... <clears throat> off because most people would want to lose the weight really quickly and be done with it. I'm eating the keto lifestyle. I don't really have that many cheat meals. If I do, it's maybe once a month and that's maybe like uh, Thanksgiving I had a cheat meal. Maybe I'll have another cheat meal at Christmas. I'm not sure. But you know in between that I, I stick to the keto lifestyle I am 70% uh, fat 20% protein and 10% carbs so I'm really low on the carbs I don't even often eat the whole 10% of the carbs that I'm supposed to eat on my carb manager app because I just don't have the taste for it anymore. So that's helped a lot. So why I don't want to lose the weight as quickly as most people would want to is because of my stomach. Um, I've had two girls um, and then I had the surgeries. So with the surgery, it when you have surgery, your muscles and your nerves are really, really hard to get back where they, they need to be. So if you take it slow and incorporate ab, ex, um, excuse me, ab exercises and strength training, you're going to lose that and tighten up your stomach muscles. But I only do that maybe twice a week I'll do um, ab exercises and like planks and stuff to just try to get everything toned from within I guess you could say you can't really see it on the outside um, you can notice that you've lost weight but everything is getting 
toned from the inside instead of just losing everything really quickly and like having the the uh, the saggy type skin where you have to have it surgically removed and stitched together I don't I don't want to have to do that because I've only had one surgery in my life and I want to keep it that way unless something absolutely bad happens and I have to have it so I'm just taking it slow and I'm letting the keto do its work I'm letting the exercises do its work so that way my body can come together slowly but nicely and I have noticed a difference in everything um, not so much in my arms because my arms and my stomach are the the hardest places on my body to get toned but the planks are helping out a lot I do a lot of yoga with Adrian I suggest her for stretching um, I do it's called Mad Fit. I like her. Her, I think her name is Maddie Lim, Limburner, Limburger. Um, she does really good exercises on her workout channel. Um, so I suggest her. That's the only two that I, I pretty much watch is the Yoga with Adrian and the Mad Fit. Now, the yoga is more stretching and limbering the body. As for Mad Fit, it's more toning the body and working out the body to get fit. So I do the yoga twice a week and I do the Mad Fit once a week, maybe twice a week. And then other than that, I ride my stationary bike um, for about 30 to 45 minutes a day. Sometimes, I'll, I'll like the Sundays, I might not do it just to give my body that rest that it needs um so yeah that's what i do for working out if you've not seen those channels i suggest you go over there and check them out they're really good channels they do they get your body moving and let me tell you you will feel it the next day i love their channels they're really really good i kind of got off topic there but that's okay i'm just trying to figure out some stuff that I want to do for vlogmas um, I want to do some recipes in there I want to do some Q&A's I want to do some family vlogs just so you guys can get a feel of everything I do have my Christmas stuff that I need to put up I've just got to figure out where I want to put it. I'm thinking about putting it right over here beside the TV. I'm not 100% sure. I, I don't know yet, but I've got it. It's right back here. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got all of the decorations and the tree back here. So I've just got to move some stuff around and to figure out where I need to put that and then get that up I don't know if my daughter wants to help me so I'll probably wait till she gets home to decorate the tree so we'll see or I might just wait to decorate the tree as a vlog in vlogmas I don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes but let's see oh have has have you guys been keeping up with the two crazy kiddos they are doing a awesome giveaway on their channel it is called the 12 days of keto giveaway i love rachel and joe they are just so fun to watch i love um communicating with them they're they're great people i love them to death so if you've not seen their channel you might want to go check them out they're just two crazy ketos with a k when you go and check out their um their channel it's two crazy ketos and they're doing great great giveaways for the 12 the first 12 days of christmas or the, yeah the first 12 days of christmas the first through the 
12th and then I think they're going to announce their last giveaway on the 13th and then they're doing another 12 days of service where you can do um, an act of kindness for the last 12 days of Christmas which I think that's really really good and uh, if I had um, stuff to give away I would participate in that but I just I don't have these subscribers yet to do any of that but that's okay maybe next year I can get that going for you guys um, and do some giveaways I do have a giveaway running um, it is my first 500 subscribers which was released on my other channel before I even created this channel. Um, I think I'm just going to move that over to here because it's more keto stuff. So I think I'm just going to move that giveaway to this platform or to this this channel and do that giveaway over here. And what that channel, excuse me, what that giveaway is, is for when I get to 500 subscribers, I'm going to give away um, some Prove It Ketones. Um, if you've not heard of Prove It Ketones, I will talk about them a lot on my channel because I work with the company. I am a promoter for the company. Um, they have excellent, excellent ketones. They are great. They taste awesome. So when I reach 500 subscribers I'm going to be um, doing a giveaway for that and you will get the ketones for that let me go get those and I will show you what they are real quick so this is what they will look like I've got them in this little bag here so that way I can keep them separated from everything else you will get some ketones and this is what they look like right here um, you will get the Swiss cacao this is a chocolate ketone this is really good I really I like putting this for like chocolate milk or putting a little bit into my coffee and then you will get a nat splash charged that's what that looks like and this has a refreshing taste. Um, to me, it's like a grapefruit type flavor, but they they do have a sweet taste to them. Um, so that's good. And then you have the two key limeades. You have a caffeinated and a caffeine free. Um, this one is the charge. This is the caffeinated. This is the key limeade. This is the uh, caffeine free. So that's what you will be getting in the 500 subscriber giveaway. Just for you to try the ketones. I figured that would be a great little giveaway for my first 500 subscribers. So that's always nice. And uh, when I do pick the subscriber to win this on my channel, I will be using the pick a winner from YouTube so that way it will take all of the comments from my videos and um, pick one of you guys to win the 500 subscriber giveaway I love doing stuff like that I just don't have the subscribers to do that so I have to wait until I get more subscribers to do better giveaways um but yeah, with the 500 subscriber giveaway, that is what you get. So if you're interested in that, hit that little subscribe button down below and uh, give this video a thumbs up and uh, take that little notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my videos because I will be uploading as much as I can up until Christmas, possibly after Christmas. So that way I can go ahead and get to 500 subscribers and give this away. I am so excited to give that away, you guys. I'm very excited. I've announced it on my other channel as well. 
and I do have a thousand subscriber giveaway going on on that channel so if you want to participate in that giveaway um, I will be just giving away some of my my favorite cleaners like Mrs. Myers and stuff like that on that channel when I we uh, when I reach a thousand subscribers on that channel so if you want to participate in that head on over to that channel I'll leave the link down below and you can just click on that and you can go and subscribe to that and uh, as soon as I get a thousand subscribers on that channel I'll be doing a giveaway on that one um, I don't exactly know what cleaners I'm going to be doing but I know that I'm going to be putting in Mrs. Myers and just some cleaning supplies that I like to use like Mrs. Myers um, the anti back I'm just going to order a few things from the Grove Collaborative and when I get those in I will give those away to you guys so if you want to participate in that you can just head on over to that channel and click and like the videos over there and uh, subscribe to that channel because you will have to be subscribed to both of my channels to participate in the giveaways so go ahead and go do that I would love to have you guys join the family on this channel and the other channel because I love come you know just sitting back and chit chatting with you guys and getting to know you um, you getting to know me so if there's any if you want to have any conversations just knock them down in the comments below and I will kind of comment back to you guys on that and I think I'm just going to call this video a quits for now because it's a pretty long and I've still got to edit it and get it uploaded for vlogmas day one ish what I don't even know what today is I think today is the fifth um, so I've got to get this edited and uploaded and I will probably be doing some more filming tomorrow and get that uploaded for you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you liked a little sit down chit chat um, I may or may not do more chit chats on this channel because just to get the vibe you know going and conversate with you guys and get to know you and your family and you can get to know me and my family and just become YouTube buddies and friends so yeah give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want to participate in the giveaway the 500 subscriber giveaway hit that subscribe button guys and uh, you'll be on your way to winning this little little mini pack of ketones this is about a $30 right here in this little bitty pack so this is worth about $30 30 to $40 um, it depends on on uh, how you consume them it is a powder you do mix it with ice and water and a little shaker cup I do recommend doing half a packet when you first start out taking these if you've not taken these before just so your body gets used to it um, and plus it sprays it out just a little bit longer so technically in this little pack you have let's see two four six eight servings in here you have eight servings a half a pack per pack so you have eight servings and it depends on how you want to use the Swiss cacao like I said you can put um, a quarter to a half of this into a glass of milk and make chocolate milk you can also make hot cocoa with this um, I will be coming out with a video using this as hot chocolate um, you can also put this Swiss cacao into your coffee um, I do recommend using a quarter of a pack maybe a teaspoon of this to put into your coffee um, so it doesn't make it too overly sweet but yeah you guys that is going to be it for this video is 
long enough and I don't want to take too much of your time because I know you've got some stuff to do and prep for the upcoming Christmas holiday and uh, please hit that little red subscribe button down below it would mean so much to me if you joined our little family and uh, don't hold back on the comments guys I would love to hear any of your comments um, but don't be rude don't be mean I don't want that on the channel I want this to be a fun friendly channel where you can leave a comment people will comment back to you and just be nice and friendly um, so yeah leave some comments down below hit that subscribe button if you like the video give it a thumbs up guys and uh, tick that little notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.